You are welcome to Choco Millionaire. What is Arrive Can? Arrive Can is a free and secure official government of Canada platform to provide your information when entering Canada. If you are planning to enter Canada either by air, land or sea, you should submit your information in this app within 72 hours before your arrival to Canada. As part of Canada's effort to reduce, spread and limit importation of COVID-19, all travelers are required to provide specific information upon and after entry into Canada. The Arrive Can app was created as a secure and user-friendly tool to help travelers comply with the border measures. The use of Arrive Can only became mandatory from February 22nd, 2021 for all persons traveling by air, sea, or land before arriving in Canada. How do you use this app? Follow this video to the end to understand the various steps of using the Arrive Can app. Download the app from Google Play Store on Android or App Store on iOS. Create an account and then this page will be shown to you. At the lower end, you see Home Travelers resources and settings and then the ad traveler you select the ad traveler you'll be required to select one of these documents you are using to enter canada for the purpose of this video we would select passport once you click on this option this will activate your phone's camera for scanning you put your passport on a dark surface and scan if not enter the details manually after you entered your scan or entered your details manually, you'll be required to show proof of vaccination. You'll be required to enter the details of which COVID-19 vaccine you received. Any vaccination approved by World Health Organization is acceptable in Canada. Put in the name of the vaccine, the country you took it, the date you took it, and if you have received the second dose, depending on the vaccine, as well as the date, you will be required to upload your proof of vaccination. After this, you are done with this section. You click on back to home button and you will see this page. Click on start. You'll be asked about what your travel is related to. For this category, you choose no. This part is related to people who cross the border very frequently. Once you select no, you'll be shown this page. For the purpose of this video, we'll select a foreign worker as the reason for travel. There are other categories such as work or employment, compassionate entry or for steady purposes. The next step is how you plan to enter Canada. For the purpose of this video, we'll select by air. You enter your flight details and submit this section. You'll be shown requirements for travel page. Do well to read through this page very well before clicking on I understand. You are further asked about positive COVID-19 test or a negative COVID-19 test detail. You are shown your travel history page where you are asked if you have traveled to any other country other than the country you are coming from. For the purpose of this video, we would select a no. Then you are shown this page, which is let's complete your quarantine plan questionnaire. Do you have accommodation where you can quarantine for 14 days or longer? For the purpose of this video, we are going to select yes. Can you avoid all contact with other people in the household with whom you did not travel and have no guests? We're going to select yes. Will you have access to necessities of life, including water, food, medication, heat? without leaving quarantine. For the purpose of this video, we we'll select yes. Are there at-risk people at the location where you plan to quarantine? For the purpose of this video, we choose no. Is there a person at the location where you plan to quarantine who works or assists in a facility, home or workplace that includes at-risk population? For the purpose of this video, we we'll select no. Is your place of quarantine a group living environment and other requirements? For the purpose of this video, we we'll choose no. You will be asked to place your full address of the place you'll be quarantining. This is the place that you will go to complete quarantine. Choose any that applies and enter the address. You'll be thanked and shown a summary of all you have filled and you click on submit. Then to the last page, the first question will be on self-assessment where you'll be asked about the symptoms of COVID. You hit no for the purpose of this video. You'll be shown this thank you page and you submit and your details will be uploaded. You are shown a receipt and QR code which will be presented at the border or at the airport. This receipt and QR code is what you would need to present either at the border or at the airport. Thank you very much for watching our video. Follow our channel for more content.